distance, and I run out of money, and I had to buy Pampers for Jelani. And I had $11.42 in the bank. And I remember wrapping my son in a towel for two days. You know, someone said, because when I tell the story, I always get teary-eyed. And someone said, do you fabricate the tears because you've told the story so much? No, I'm a mama. Every time I tell the story, I feel it again. I remember the second day, like you said, I had my, st my hand on Jelani's stomach and I said, don't worry, baby. Mommy will never be this broke or broken again. And that day, what shifted for me was I was willing, and I don't know if this is going to sound crazy, I was willing to completely die to any form of me that I had been so that I can birth the woman that I was becoming. The reason why a lot of people won't become who they want is because they're too attached to who they've been. And you hear it all the time when people say, I've always been this way. Okay, well, if that's working for you, keep doing that. I knew it wasn't working for me any longer. I had hit my version of rock bottom. So I was willing to let go of everything and everybody. See, another reason why people won't get there is because the doorway is for you to fit through. You're trying to carry everybody else through because you're trying to be rescue 911. And you got to rescue you first. I am much more valuable to my family and to my community because I was willing to let them go. Go through the door myself, teach myself, learn myself, condition myself, and then come back and get them. I'm much more valuable to them now. But I had to go through a window time of 10 years of judgment. You leaving us, hanging out with white people all the time. You going to these crazy countries. We, we don't know what you, I, I had to be willing to, to allow my conviction to make me inconvenienced. See, we want to grow, but we want to stay liked by everybody. I was willing to be my own rescue at the risk of your approval. Most of us aren't like that. Facebook is example, we want to be liked. Well, I woke up and I like myself today, so your like is extra. My, my job is to like me first. I was willing to say every day, Lisa, you like you? Lisa, are you proud of you? Lisa, are you playing full out? Every day before I checked in with anybody else. That's lonely, by the way. Why won't most people do it? Because it's scary and it's lonely. So what did I do? I was willing to find people who had what I didn't have who were living lives that I wasn't living, who believed things that I didn't know about, and I was willing to become their student. I got up every day and I ate a slice of humble pie. See, when you get to this level, even me 10 years ago, you can get caught up by reading your own fine print. See, whenever I hear people reading my bio, when, before I came on and you read my bio, I'm in the back going, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I don't want to ever think I arrived. I don't ever, that bio was old. I, I, you should be interested in my future. Oh, that's my bio. What's my future? Oh, what are you doing? What am I? Who am I becoming for 2020? And we get caught up in our bios. We get caught up in our status. I never allowed that to stop me from going and sitting at the hem of someone and saying, what do you know about wealth? See, because there's three forms to money. There's three relationships to money. We learn how to earn it. We learn how to keep it. And we learn how to grow it. Well, I, I learned how to earn it because my theme song was, I'm a hustler, baby, and I want you to know, everybody with me, it ain't where I've been, but what? where I'm about to go. So I was singing that song. <laughs> good. They know, God. they know, right? I was singing that song when I was, I was in, working out of my closet as my office. I, w I was in a walk-in closet where you really couldn't walk in. You stepped in and turned, right? <laughs> and, and, and the clothes rack, you know how you have the hanger rack. I had pant hangers in the closet, and I had manila folders clipping on the, the pant hangers. Those are my client files. And I would sit there, and I put two ninety nine dollars mirrors off that you get from CVS. I put them all around my closet walls so that I could make my, my office look bigger. I worked out of that closet office for four years singing that song. And I ain't where I've been, but where I'm about to go. I knew that. I knew how to make money. I didn't know how to keep it, because ain't nobody had none in my family. So keeping wasn't an issue. <laughs> Growing was never an issue. 
So I went to people who knew how to make it, keep it, grow it. I went to people who was about serving others to the highest level. See, I make a lot of money because I serve more people. See, all your success is on the other side of service. People trying to make money, if it begins and ends with money, it's going to be a short-lived victory. But if it's about transforming lives, then the wind keeps going and going and growing and growing. So I went to people that knew what I didn't know. And I, I, I killed my ego every day, murdered my she-go every day. Because I got a big she-go. I mean, come on, <laughs> right? Every day, Tom. And I got hungry and I learned. I went to the same training 42 times. Yes, I said 42. <laughs> Some folks will stop because oh, I've been there already. I learned that already. Yeah. No, I wasn't there. I wanted to be able to finish their sentences. I want to know what you know. I want to walk like you, talk like you, and then I want to then embed me in it. But success leaves clues. We're just not picking them up. I was the only African-American person at this conference. I was one of two women at this conference. Within the last 29 sessions, I led the conference. But I was willing to be the student first. So that's what I did, number one. And number two, I looked at every toxic behavior in my life. Everyone. You see me go behind my own black curtain. People don't want to tell on yourself. You're trying to protect. You're trying to do th four things. You're trying to protect, prove, hide, and defend. If you wake up every day and say, I have nothing to protect. I have nothing to prove. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to defend. Now, who do I choose to be? Distance, and I run out of money and I had to buy Pampers for Jelani and I had $11.42 in the bank and I remember wrapping my son in a towel for two days you know someone said because when I tell the story I always get teary-eyed and someone said do you fabricate the tears because you've told the story so much no I'm a mama every time I tell the story I feel it again I remember the second day like you said I had my, my hand on Jelani's stomach and I said don't worry, baby. Mommy will never be this broke or broken again. And that day, what shifted for me